Okay, in this video, we're going to solve this problem right here, and we're going to use the elimination method. And so let's begin. So this is an x, this is a positive x, they're the same. So if you want to eliminate it, make 1 into negative x. So we will multiply by negative 1. The other piece will multiply by positive 1. So x times negative 1 will give us negative x. 3y times negative 1 will give us negative 3y is equal to 5 times negative 1 will be negative 5. And now for this piece, x times 1 will give us positive x. 3y times 1 will give us a positive 3y is equal to 7 times 1 is 7. And so now we'll combine negative x plus x is 0, it gets eliminated. Negative 3y plus 3y, it gets eliminated. So we get 0 is equal to negative 5 plus 7 is 2. And obviously 0 does not equal to 2, and so we'll say no solution. So there's no scenario for x and y to make both statements to be true. And I'll give you an example. Let's say y is equal to 1. As an example, y is equal to 1. 3 times 1 is 3, 5 minus 3 is 2, so x is equal to 2. Now, this is true for this statement, but for this equation, this won't be true. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, not 7, so not true. And this makes sense because on the left-hand side, xx, 3y, 3y, they're both the same. But on the right-hand side, they equal two different things. They equal 5 and 7, so that's not even possible. And that's pretty much it for this video.